this is my New York City studio apartment that I moved into five months ago. I didn't do the best job furnishing it. Basically, after months of working from home, I felt it was time for an upgrade. I'm a full-time YouTuber and a programmer, which means I'm always at my desk. And since I faced the window in the summer, it got really hot. Also, I put a dining table that's a little bit too big for my space right in the middle of the kitchen as you walk in, which kind of blocked and made the whole place seem much smaller. So today we're gonna renovate and upgrade my apartment and I'm gonna give you guys a tour. I spent the whole day yesterday rearranging my entire room, buying new stuff for my desk, and I've always wanted to make an apartment tour video, a desk setup video, and also talking about the gear I use. So I'm putting that all in this video. If you're new here, my name is Jed and let's get started with today's video. We're gonna start with the new apartment tour because I'm really happy with the way I rearranged the space. The first change I did was move the dining table from the middle of the kitchen to the corner of the window. Originally, I put my desk here instead because I feel I'm always facing my computer and I've always been doing this in my past few apartments. I'll make myself face the window just so that I'm looking at like sunlight the whole day because I sit down in my desk pretty much all day. I've always lacked natural sunlight so much. Me facing the window is kind of like a desperate attempt to get all the sunlight I can. In this apartment where I get too much light, I would sit here all day and since I kind of face the sunlight in the afternoon, I would get the rays of sunlight directly on my face to the point where I'll take my laptop, I'll unplug it from my monitor, and I'll work in my dining table just so that the light doesn't hit me. So instead of my desk facing the window, I put the dining table by the window, which makes this a really nice place to eat food, to be by the window. And now when you walk in the room, you get a nice unobstructed path straight to the window. And I feel like that's good energy flow. Feng Shui. I put the mirror here instead, which kind of gives you the sense that the room's bigger than it actually is when you walk in. The bed used to be facing this way. I turned it this way, and now the bed and the desk share this wall. This is my biggest hack for a productivity rebooster. Rearrange a room and you feel like it's a new place and I'm motivated to be working. We're gonna move on to my desk setup. I've been on a bit of a shopping spree. I bought a bunch of new stuff from my desk and we're gonna talk about it. Let me give you a desk setup walkthrough. All right, so this desk is from Amazon. It was. What the? This is a $200 desk on Amazon. I thought I could save some money and kind of buy a cheaper desk. But something I realized, this desk slab is made up of one, two, six, seven, seven parts, making this the worst desk I've ever bought. With all this expensive gear on top of it, I think we could do better. I did this backwards. I think I have to flip it over. These sticky pieces, I already put it on the top too. I don't know if I need these. Now this should work. First thing going on my desk, this is a monitor holder from Ugmunk. I bought it like two weeks ago and it's been pretty good. I put this here so that my monitor is elevated. It's metallic and if you want your own, today's video is not sponsored, but the company did give me a discount code for you guys and I'm gonna link that in the description. If you wanna match with me, I highly recommend. On top of this, LG 4K ultrafine monitor from Apple. I love it a lot. It's only 24 inches, but I realize I don't really need that much screen space. Number two, this was a purchase from two days ago. Okay, so for the longest time, I've never had speakers and I would use the speakers coming out of this monitor. I don't know why I lasted so long without buying speakers. I bought these from B&H, it's called the Audio Engine 5 Plus. This was kind of pricey, but game changing. Game changing to have good quality speakers, especially when I'm like editing videos. They have a tiny compartment in the bottom here, so I can slide my MacBook inside and it's pretty hidden. For my keyboard mouse, this is the Logitech MX Keys S combo. 
recommend. We have the G RAID 40 terabyte storage. This is for all my YouTube footage for the past like three years. This 40 terabytes is made up of two drives, 20 terabytes each. So you could either use the whole thing as a giant 40 terabyte hard drive, or you could turn on a setting where if you drag it to this drive, it makes a copy of your file on both automatically. So I'm pretty much using this as a 20 terabyte drive, but it's backed up twice on two separate drives. The sun is about to set and I have been editing this video that you're watching right now. Today I woke up at like 8.30 a.m. It's 7.45 p.m. on the same day. I'm gonna upload this. So if you're watching this, I did a same day edit and also set up my whole room. So I feel very tired, but I'm proud of myself for getting through to this. I'm just gonna close off this room tour, showing you what the lighting is like during a sunset. This part gets real nice. And it really does make a difference with the desk not being there. The desk is pretty big, so this being there pretty much just blocked all the sunlight. Really happy about this. I'm not gonna make this video too long because I don't know how interested you are in room tours, but this desk is looking really nice and I'm really excited about this whole setup. Everything feels so enhanced, especially the speakers. Adding the speakers was the single biggest game changer for me. One last demo and then I'm off. See you guys next week. Alexa lights on. I put the LED on behind there as well as under the kitchen. I don't have any big lights, so my entire room is powered by lamps and Alexa plugs. Thanks for watching.